Yo, all my homies, you know, my homets, dudes and do this. It's your boy Will back again with my weekly rotation, what I wore this week. And let's start it off. It was warm last week. So it feels like spring is finally getting into the mid spring and not necessarily so much in the early part of spring where it's kind of chilly. So it's been more warmer day. So I started out with this right here. This is CK Summer, and this is uh, CK Summer 2019. They Calvin Klein usually comes out with a, a different one every year, but this one is pretty much just the same uh, fragrance every year. But this one to me stands out a little bit more because it's really, really bright and fresh. Right? It has watery notes and tea it's really really light and airy it almost has a little bit of a uh, uh a like a citrus vibe to it i'm not sure if it's bergamot or something it's not anything that's listed in the notes but it's a really fresh fresh very summery vibe to it kind of like what my shirt looks like <laughs> so on tuesday this week i outside of monday with the CK Summer, and that's 2019 CK Summer. I pretty much wore a lot of samples this week because I was testing as, testing out some fragrances and most of the fragrances are samples. So this one I wore, and you can't really see the label because it's faded, but this is light blue intense. And I can show you what the fragrance looks like. It's pretty, it's kind of a light blue color but this is pretty close to the original light blue which is a fresh summer vibe kind of scent except for this one has something heavier in the in the base notes this one has a little bit of amber wood in the base notes so that's the only difference between this one and uh light blue intense and this one tends to the light i mean the original light blue light blue intense last longer and it may be projecting a little bit more than the original light blue but yeah that's why we're on tuesday okay so <laughs> on tuesday this is a weird fragrance this one is a fragrance i got i think i got it off of amazon and I, it just seemed interesting to me but this is um it it it's called tea and tea and gingerbread um but obviously it's spelled a little bit different but this one is you can get it on amazon i'll put the name down here but what it smells like it smells like the lemon flavor it smells like the lemon flavor pez remember the pez candy you used to get that the head it was like a a candy like in a thing like this and the head pops up and a piece of candy pops out. That's what it smells like. It smells like the lemon flavor of that. And it smells good. It's, it's a good fragrance for, you know, just lounging, doing nothing. And that's what I was doing on, on uh, Wednesday, just kind of chilling, doing nothing. So on Thursday, Thursday was a really special day. But on Thursday, I came out with this fragrance here and this fragrance it's called Let's Settle This Argument Like Adults in the Bedroom Naked. <laughs> and this is by Killian. And that's what the fragrance, that's the name of the fragrance, the long name. But this one is actually been discontinued now. This fragrance it smells so good. It's, it has notes of, I don't even want to spray this, but it has notes of vanilla, um, sandalwood heliotrope uh fig and in his fig nectar that's in this not just a regular fig fig leaf it's the fig nectar and it smells so good but this fragrance doesn't really smell like any other fragrance that i think is on the market it's really heavy in the fig and that fig is really nice and juicy but it also gives you a warmthness to it and it's almost like a cuddle kind of fragrance so I guess the name is appropriate. Let's sell this in the bedroom like adults. Naked. <laughs> All right. So that's what I wore on Thursday.
So on Friday, following through with still with the sandalwood, I told you the sandalwood is one, like one of my favorite notes. I tried out this. Well, not tried it out because I know what it smells like, but this is, I don't know if the name's going to come up, but this is Tamdao by Diptyque. And the difference is I have a bottle of this and I think I probably put up a review of that. This is the EDT. And what I have in the bottle form is the EDP. So I just want to see how this performed differently towards the EDP. And from what I can tell, both of them smell pretty much the same, except the EDT projects a little bit longer, but it lasts, lasts a shorter amount of time, a lot shorter amount of hours. And the EDP doesn't project as much and it stays close to your skin, but it lasts for a long time. It lasts maybe about two to three hours longer than what the EDT uh, lasts for. But it's, a, it's still a good fragrance. And I think if you are looking for either one of the time dials, the EDP or the EDT, the EDT is a cheaper one if you can. Usually it's cheaper. So, yeah, that's what I had on Friday. So on Saturday, Saturday was a little warm. So what I did was I grabbed this one again. It's another sample. And this is Black SS by Paco Rabanne. And this one, it has some notes of cinnamon. Cinnamon and praline. It's kind of sweet and it's, uh, it's a good fragrance for the summertime. And that's why I rocked out. Rocked on, what day was that? Saturday. Oh. Snapple fact, if you can't find Black Excess, if you can go to Zara and find uh, Zara Man Gold, smells just like it. All right. Well, that's why we're on Saturday. So that brings us to Sunday. On Sunday, another sample. And you probably won't be able to see the name, but I will put it up here anyway. But this is Ete Lebre. The orange and that is and the name of the fragrance that I tested was I can show you the color of the fragrance too was name of this fragrance is like this this house they make some weird fragrances and very artistic they they don't try to stay mainstream they usually will do something weird they've done some of the weirdest fragrance I've had but this one they um it has notes of pumpkin and ginger and musk and tangerine it's a really weird kind of cool fragrance because it's a summer vibe type of fragrance yes it is but it's different than your normal summer vibe it, it's kind of uh kind of a little bit hard to explain but it's it's a fragrance that's a little heavy for when it's really really heavy sunny outside but as far as being spring and being in the air it's a good pick for this so yeah that's what i wore on sunday and that wrapped up the week that's it so that's what i wore a week last week thanks for stopping by hanging out with your boy i appreciate it catch you on the next go around deuces